Welcome back to part seven of the Blood of Ragnar. I am Dre Kai. Uh, last episode, we started a war with West Francia to give our uh, courtier uh, Rolf de Normandy Ruton. It's kind of more just a uh, ah, what the hell we'll do this because uh, he would start the de Normandy line, and I think it's kind of a little fun. Also, the king of West Francia is a bear right now, which is kind of funny. So, we're in this war. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we're just going to try to get it for him, give it to him. We don't really care after that. He is married to our daughter, uh, Puria. Uh, he's 49, though, so we're not sure if he'll actually have kids with her. But we'll see. Now we're going to march down to Ru or, uh, Rutan. Ruin? Uh, I can't. I don't know. And we'll see if we can capture that. Basically, we're just doing this for one fact. Uh, and that's to give Rolf de Normandy a piece of the Norman lands. The Normandy lands. Bishop Aaron, a preacher in the service of King Carloman of West Francia. That's the bear, King Carloman of West Francia, which is ridiculous. <laughs> um, has arrived in Zealand to spread the gospel of their foreign religion. He has little regard for our old faith, declaring it simple, and has explained in detail the horrors we shall suffer in the afterlife unless we mend our ways. There are horrors to suffer in this life as well, my friend. Well, yeah, we'll just send them to the dungeon. Don't really care. Uh oh truces are expiring from King Carlman, the missionary of East Francia. That's good, because then we can take more. Uh, I think we can do a county conquest of Midden, and then uh, Pattermjorn uh, is where we want to get, because that is uh, that is one of the holy sites, and then we could reform the religion, which would be awesome. Alright, we did that. We are now going to go down to the capital in Orlese. These are dark days. My son Sigurd has grown weaker and weaker over the last few I'm just been uh, informed his affliction is indeed consumption. Call for my court physician at once. Oh! Our one son died. And that's not good because I believe... Yeah. Uh, our wife is trying to kill our other son and that would leave us without an heir but we paid her off so she won't that would be very bad if we didn't have an heir just gonna siege that down uh, she is one of the people we have captured I have encountered Warrior Ego many times, this is our marshal, uh, while carrying out our duties for the Wolf Warriors, and is always a pleasant exchange occasion. We can talk for hours, and if the time allows, because he never bothers me. While our discussions are often lengthy, we always seem to agree on the matters which are more important. We'll become friends with our marshal. We've already dueled him once and had fun beating him. You know, that's just the Viking way to beat down uh, your friends. Okay, we don't really care about that stuff. Oh, it's probably showing because we have some prisoners of uh, Venice. And that is the end. We usurped all of that. Now, where is Rolf? Grant landed title. He can have the Chieftain of Ruin. And now he, uh, you know, we just, we just did that. That's cool. Our daughter, Beta, uh, she needs a focus. We'll go with duty. Giving conscientious. 
that can lead to diligence, the best trait in the game, I believe, or temperance. Uh, temperate, which is still a very good trait. As soon as our men get back, we will be going and trying to do another war. Who is King Oldenburg? Oh, okay, they're going for Oldenburg. We're gonna go for. All right, we'll see how this goes. Dear Knud, I would like to invite you to join me for a small gathering of friends to dine and drink and forget about the world outside for a little while. Please be prepared to reserve a few days for this in case we get truly into the spirits of the... Oh, our friend Harold is inviting us to carouse. Yeah, Harold, we'll carouse with you. Got a weak claim here. Uh, we don't really care about anything in England right now. We're more interested in trying to get to the point where we can reform the faith. Alright, we will uh, stand down our armies. We need a new steward. I'll sing. Be our steward. We need a new commander. I think we will uh, we will get a, a lodge commander. Arnie. War sacrifice. Yeah, we're going to do a war sacrifice. Ooh, that is awesome. Yeah, no one cares about her. Two warriors from the lodge carry Annette outside, ignoring her kicking and screaming. While the priest prepares me for the ritual by inscribing holy signs under my skin, the offering is brought to the tallest tree we can find and hang from its strongest branch. We then start chanting hymns to the old gods under the twitching shadow of Etinet. A life for victory. That's awesome. She's dead now. Um, we will now declare war against King Carloman. Uh, where... Let's get this carousing started. We want to go for uh, Midden. Midden, that's it. So, Claire War of Midden, Conquest of Midden. We will raise up our troops, call in our allies, our uh, vassal allies, all of our troops down here. Suggest we play out the board pieces and play to see who is the better strategist. He has money on it. The condition that we play for my... Alright, we'll play for some money. Hail to the king! We won after hours of playing. That's great. The reveling and carousing is over. Time to get back to the real life. Awesome. Uh, I could hear someone sneaking around inside and believed it to be a burglar. When I went downstairs, I discovered Beta opening one of my letters. Well... Teach her to be less nosy. Betta didn't react well to my way of correcting her behavior. I fear she is even more suspicious towards me than now. She's mad at us, our daughter. Mad at us. Whatever. As soon as I pick up Grim to Grimmer, to help me out cutting down some trees, he starts complaining. Apparently he has a nasty stomachache. Indolent brat, I'll show him. Grimmer apparently has pains in his arms now after I grab it and cannot use it to cut down trees. He gets indolent. Uh, I don't like any of those, really. I mean, charitable's okay, but not really for a viking. Uh, we're just gonna... Yeah, we're giving Sweden some more stuff over here, but I don't really care that much. I'd rather get the war score for killing their men. The 
defensive pack uh, opposing Marinus Macedon has been disbanded. Okay. Not sure about that, uh, where that was or anything like that. Uh, we could... Uh, nah, we won't for now. For now, we are just going to go to war. We get more money from raiding, then we will... Uh, uh, which we'll probably do some raiding after we finish this war. These are dark days. My son Grimmer uh, has been growing weaker and weaker over the last few days, and I have just been informed that he uh, that his affliction is indeed consumption. Call for my court physician at once. Oh boy! Really hope our uh, son does not not die of consumption because our last one just did. What are you trying to do? Trying to kill us? Yeah, we're gonna end that. Are you trying to kill us? You're our vassal. You should like us. Oh, you're insane. And you have the great pox. Ah, uh, we're not going to negotiate with that idiot. Victory! We need a new marshal. Our old marshal died. Arnie, you can be our new marshal. Now we need a new commander. Should have yeah, we got plenty. We'll Lodge Commander. Pure Brand. Our new commander. Alright, Pure Brand. Oh, we got a finger bone, uh Saint's finger bone. We have two of those now, I believe. Of the bones of Saint Peter. Uh a Saint's finger bone. Doesn't do anything to us, uh, because we are a, not a Christian. Um so you know, we don't really care about that. We also have a skull trophy that we took off of someone. Alright, we've got a 100% war score. We will offer peace. Force demands. Uh, we will raise up some people there. Um... I'm going to give you that chieftain as well. I guess not. We need to get a new holy man for that. Excellent. Uh, you shall get it. is left-handed. Oh, okay. A lack of bravery. I have seen Piardi Eggers' daughter during a couple of gatherings with the... Uh, it's not our responsibility. Rolf the Fox, our son-in-law, is inviting us to go carousing. Of course we'll come. Have you put a child into our daughter yet? Oh, yes, you have. Sarah Ruff's daughter. You need to put a couple more in her, though. Need to get him, uh, get him an heir. Oh, it's a theocracy. That's interesting. I didn't realize when I gave that to him he was a theocracy. Didn't mean for that to actually happen. That's okay.
I'm gonna lower our levies, let them refresh a little bit. We are going to bring out our ships, all of them, down to Zeeland. We'll get our troops over there, and I think we'll go raiding. Uh, do we have a Providence that we need to raid? Yes, we do. So we'll go raid there, and then we'll probably go and raid Venice again, because Venice is always fun to raid. Oh, what else can we do? We've got a lot of... Let's build some training grounds. Um, here we will... Improve our... House call training ground. Here we will market village because we haven't had one of those yet. Yeah, we don't have the money to build a temple right there yet. Um, the Germanic faith is at 49%. We still need to capture this last area down here. We can do that in... Oh, how many years? Um, four years, four years we can do that. Should be good and then we can... That'll really help us out. Uh, you know, I've never reformed the faith since Holy Fury came out. And I can't wait to check out that new mechanic. And I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think you'll all enjoy it. Um, you know, I'm excited to see what all the differences are and what we can do with it. And it's kind of cool because I didn't want to have this huge empire. I originally thought we'd have to take over Norway and Sweden to be able to do it. But since we just captured these coastal counties down here in Zealand, and I think we can get, uh, Pattern Bjorn pretty easily down here, um, we should be able to reform the faith and bring the Germanic faith to the world so we'll see how that goes uh, I doubt we'll get all the way there on this playthrough um, you know one child lacks an education uh, Marshall hopefully he gets rid of consumption because uh, that would really suck if he has consumption he is our only heir right now we might need to try to find another concubine um, uh, women, not married, diplo range, genius, oh, search all, genius, see what we've got here, huh, not many, what about, Oh, we've got someone in our dungeons. You know what? We're gonna take you as a concubine, because you're quick. So that's good. We're also gonna set this concubine um, aside. She's too old to have kids now. Who else do we have? There's a Russian, an Italian, What about strong? None of them would come. Alright. Um, oh, that's okay for now. We added a new concubine. He's 18. Another concubine. It's a little old probably won't give us any more heirs. We're 42. Our wife is 51. She's not going to give us any more heirs. She just gave us two daughters. She had a daughter before that, and she gave us a son, but our son died of consumption. We have this granddaughter down here, Sarah Ruff. Uh, yeah, we're okay right now. We've got a weak claim. Where's that at? Uh, nah, don't care about it. Uh, 
we can create a uh, duchy down here. Might do that. I think we'll do that. Oh no, that's almost all. Well, yeah, we'll do that, and we will give it to this guy, Skuldi of Mecklenburg. He wants to be on, uh, you know, our council, but he's content enough right now. Uh, oh yes, and we are also going to raise our these levies, but uh, not this. We'll combine them, set ourselves down, and go raiding. Where were we going raiding? Oh yes, that's right, down here. It is hard to feel proud when one has nothing to be proud of. Why should I be proud of myself? I lose proud. Well, you should be proud of yourself because look what you did. You became the king of Denmark in your lifetime. High Chief Gosmer II of Mazonia has usurped the title Temple of Seji from Jevna the Short-Tempered. Oh, our wife lost her temple. Okay. I forgot that she had her own temple. wonder... No, she won't convert for us. That's okay. You know. I've arrived at the private rooms of Rolf. There's plenty of food and drink here, and the mood is decidedly merry. I am looking forward to this. Let's get it started, Rolf. I suggested to Rolf that we bring out the board and pieces to play and see who is the better strategist. He's accepted on the condition that we play for money. Very well then, let's play. Hail to the king, we win again. That's because we are a game master. The reveling and carousing is over. Time to get back to real life. Get some prestige from that. We'll let this dude rot. Anything else we can do? We can hold a tribal festival. Let's do that. I haven't done that yet. A great festival is expected what the people of Denmark need to strengthen the bonds with their fellow tribesmen. It will also be a great opportunity for chieftains to bring offerings to our ancestors, bringing prosperity to our land. Alright. I'm going to turn on auto stop. I have heard news of the great celebration you are preparing for your... I wagered you enjoy the company of a fellow warrior to exchange stories with. Yeah, we'll let you come, Ragnar. A metal pod. Sure, of course you're welcome to join. The period of festivities is about to start. All sorts of peddlers, bards, and fortune tellers are gathering in Sealand, bringing their tales and offerings. I should make sure to prepare myself before traveling to beat my tribesmen. We could go hunting, uh, study the old legends, look for our best craftsmen. Let's go hunting. The celebrations have finally begun. Zealand is bustling with activity. People from every corner of Denmark have traveled here to pay their respects to me and my ancestors, exchange tales and goods, and have a good time. Ooh, minus local 15% revolt risk, plus 100% local tax modifier, that's awesome. And, you know, a little less on disease resistance, but that's cool. Let's see here. The Great Travel Festival. An old merchant has set up a large stand in the middle of Zealand this year, uh, selling all sorts of amulets and trinkets to use at the end of the festival as offerings to the gods and ancestors. I wonder if I should buy myself something to burn. The most expensive jewels. Yeah, we'll do this one. Um, and where do we need to go with this? Uh, Remy, okay. So we'll take our troops here, loot this one for our mission, and then go loot, uh, Venice. The eating contest with so many... 
Yeah, we'll join in. Oh, our son gets a chance of becoming brave. He did not get it. He got on Kuth instead. That, that's that's no good. A long line of tribe men sit one next to the other, slamming their fists on the table and loudly reciting the few contenders to eat faster. I phase out for a moment, gagging, and then get back to my meal. Oh, okay, we did not win, but we're going to, um, we could give a victory prize, but right now we don't have the gold to do that, so good on him. Sorry, we'd give it if we had it. With the period of festivities nearing its end, it is finally time to burn our offerings to the old god and pray that they will protect us in the years to come. A long moment of silence shrouds the island as the smoke rises to the nightly sky, then the shamans lead us in a somber hymn, concluding the ceremony. Glory to uh, Odin. We get one moral authority for three years. That's awesome. Time to uh, return home. We get 100 gold, and we looted there. So that's awesome. And just take that back, though, and we're going over to Venice. You'll make a suitable sacrifice. Captured him in battle. You need a new commander. Uh, Carl, you're not doing anything. Carl, yeah, Carl, you're uh, our new commander. Anything else we need? Nope. We could hold a great blot. I think we'll do that. I can hardly wait. We'll sacrifice some of these prisoners we've got. Um, oh, introduce the heir to the realm. You invited your vassals to partake in a formal introduction of your heir, Grim. He will have to exchange many pleasantries and act in a very formal way. Something that will be tiresome for someone as young as him. However, you have full confidence that he will not disappoint you. Well, you better not, kid. You just better not. He gains five prestige. All right. Uh, the guests have arrived, and the time has come for the bloat to begin. You gather outside the temple and start by offering animals as sacrifices to the god. While their meat is prepared for the feast that is to fall, the blood is sprinkled on statues of Odin, Thor, Freyr, and other gods, as well as the worshippers themselves. Now for the human sacrifice. Alright. And with that, we're going to have to end it, because I went way over on time today. Um... Thank you for watching. I, I, Drikai, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe as it helps the channel grow. And I'll see you next time with the blood of Ragnar.